Hey, what's up? Nomadic Gaijin here. Today we're doing another installment of Japan's Miniature World, where we get to see the latest and greatest of the tiny things that make Japan awesome. Let's go check it out. First thing we have here today is Miniature Sniper 2. Now I never got to see Miniature Sniper 1 and I regret it because I would love to see what kind of ideas they had the first round. Here they've got a matchbook, broccoli, a die, a macaron, and some earbuds. I really wanted that matchbox because it says very much. <laughs> it sounded like thank you very much. <laughs> and it just kind of looked funny. You can do this with coworkers, classmates, friends, whatever. You just hide it somewhere at their desk or you know around the house and then wait till people notice it. I think that'd be kind of fun, you know, like a little game you could play. The next one we have is Chubo Kiki and it says commercial kitchen equipment. And so if you've ever really wanted to work in a commercial kitchen, well, here you go. You get the experience in a very micro version. The first one I got was the stir fryer. On the cover, you can see they use some uncooked rice as their little model. And this is the noodle maker. So it comes a little noodle built in and you, you pop that down and then you can like roll and now it's completely lost and gone. And these more interactive types where you can do stuff are what make the miniatures a lot of fun. Next we have Haisen no Sekai. This is the world of wiring, is the best way that I can translate that. <laughs> I don't really know what, but the whole point of it is it's some appliances that can plug into things. And one option that you might get is a whole strip of plugs. I got the hair dryer. Yeah, but it's cool. So you get, for that one, you get a little outlet and then you get a plug that comes on a string. So the plug is quite strong. Once you put it in, it doesn't come out easily. That's cute. Yay. Has the six plug strip, a rice cooker, a hair dryer, an electric kettle, a smartphone with a little charging hub. I'm content with my hair dryer. Eee. Now, if you look at the top of the machine, it has a thing that says for 15 years old and up. So I don't really know what it is about a 14 year old that can't handle a, a fake plug, or maybe they just don't want to encourage people to play with plugs. But I just found that warning funny, especially since it was in an area that's accessible to kids of all ages uh, in a train station. So <laughs> go figure, right? This one caught my eye because I've been a Sega fan for a long time and I had a Sega Genesis when I was a kid and much later on I had a Sega Dreamcast. And if you get the console, it's a tissue box cover for a regular tissue box. And if you get the controller, it's a mini pocket tissue cover and it also has a little zip pouch too. So. I was kind of hoping to get one of each. I bought two of these and I got both Dreamcast and I got a controller and a system. So I really lucked out on this one. Quite honestly, the tissue box cover, while cool that it is a system, it's wrinkled, it's really thin and flimsy. It's held on with one little elastic band that will probably break in a, in a short amount of time. But you know, it's cool that you got it on a tissue box. I've got a Dreamcast tissue box I can put in my room. But the controller one, that's where it really shines. So if you get this one, I think it's much better. The controller one, like I said, has the pouch so you can put stuff in it, money, whatever, I don't know. Nice little strap as well, not bad. A tissue pack as well. It's the bus stop button. So I got it right here. It emulates all the features of a bus stop button, including looking insanely worn out for something that's brand new and having the sound when you press the button. And the sound itself sounds worn out, just like on a real Japanese bus. Here we go. <laughs> and it's cool because it's a magnet. So you can just pop that on your fridge or your cabinet or whatever, and then you can just press that button. <laughs> Brings you back to the bus, getting off at your stop. Next, we have the Yatai Miniature, the food stall miniature. This one, if you check out the machine over here, it's got okonomiyaki, takoyaki, crepes, and choco banana, which is a chocolate covered banana. And I got takoyaki, yeah. Cool, it's got the sauce or mayonnaise down here written. It's got a little sauce and mayonnaise on the top of the table with takoyaki being prepared and it's got little takoyakis already set in the little baskets that you get at a festival. Yatai like this you can find at Matsuri, which are festivals, or places all around Japan, touristy locations, whatever. They're run by the mafia, but I'm not gonna get into that in this video. Yakuza sold separately. Funny enough, if you look under the title, it says this is the year 2020 summer edition. 
So I'm wondering how many summer festivals and tourist places were packed with these in the year 2020. Next we have a game. It's a whole game in one unit. It's Oden. For those of you that don't know Oden, it's a lot of types of fish cake or konyaku, little various ingredients that go inside that are delicious, daikon, mochi, that kind of stuff. It's one of my favorite winter foods. And it says it on here and it's got all the ingredients on the side, so that's really cool. You get to experience a little bit of what the different ingredients are. So you take off the top, you fill this with water, you give the little top of the thing a spin, right? And then you're supposed to take out the little pieces of Odin, put them into your bowl. So I'm not sure whether you use the scoop that is completely flat and very difficult to use, or use these tiny little tongs. You could use those too, right? Maybe. The only way I see this as a real game is if you bought several of them and you and your friends race to see who could finish first with some kind of terrible consequence that follows if you lose. Have you ever used a public telephone in Japan? I mean, I know everyone's got smartphones now, but when I first came to Japan, I didn't have a smartphone. It was pre-smartphone days. I was here as a tourist and I needed to call people because I was staying with college friends. And so I use these all the time. And here it is. It's really cool. They put a lot of effort into this, right? The phone comes off and it's on the string where you hang up the phone and that part moves up and down. The buttons you can press in. The coin slot is open. I don't know if there's anything I have that's small enough to fit in here, but the bottom uh, coin receipt area is also open. So then, yeah, maybe you can get something to go through. If you look at the machine here, one option was to get Hello Kitty that can hold the telephone. Yeah, maybe some people want that, but I felt like it was a kind of a contrast between a hyper realistic phone and then a super cartoony character. And if you get that character, you don't get a phone, which means I would have had to do this twice. So I'm really lucky, really happy I didn't get that Hello Kitty. Sorry, Hello Kitty fans. Hey, hello. Look at this sassy little cat. This is the Neko no Pen Oki or the cat pen holder. Two. Shaking his hips out there and putting it up. Those of you who know me know I'm more of a dog person, but I can't help this like little cat butler holding my pen for me, so I, I just had to get it. There are five types of cats you can get in this. You can get the American short hair, the Siamese, the Bengal, the Abyssinian, or the Russian blue. A little tiny mechanical pencil. He's pretty good with that. Not a problem. Pens are various. If you can get the right grip and you put it just right, He's got it. This one is very simply labeled Wana or trap. And that's all it is, it's a trap. So you push down a lever, open up the trap and then set it. Like the sniper one, I think this could be a lot of fun to do with friends where you set it up like, right? I don't want to, want to touch my beer, I'm gonna set this trap on it. <laughs> all right, we get a Koedo. Oh, it's booby trapped. I'll go for this Asahi up here. Yeah, that looks good. Uh, oh, wait a minute. It's guarded. See you later, buddy. Now this last thing is object shaped erasers and I really like them. So I just want to show you. The first one was Japanese desserts. And what's so cool about these is that all the pieces come off. So you've got taiyaki, you've got dango, doreyaki. This is from my first video. If you guys remember the uh, sakura mochi and actually green tea, so except for the platter that it comes on, all this stuff can erase. And you can take it apart, which is really nice. If I had this when I was in school, I would be playing with this stuff all the time and not actually focusing. But the real shining jewel here of the eraser crowd was the Kaiten Sushi or conveyor belt sushi. So this one has uni, ikura, tamago, maguro, ebi. It's two little green teas and a touch screen so you can order stuff if it doesn't look very fresh, you know. All erasers as well and they all come apart. So you can take the, if you grab the tamago, you can take the egg off the rice and take the rice off the plate as well. That just makes it a little bit more fun. And that's it for Japan's Miniature World 3. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you haven't seen one or two, definitely go check those out. They're in my list. See you next time.